what's up guys this is ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 35 and today we'll be going to talk about how to create index um, within your pdf report so index i think all of you know but again if someone is not familiar with index i'll explain you suppose you are creating one pdf document inside the document you are talking about let's say microprocessor so microprocessor is having different like topics or process or components let's say when you are talking about microprocessor there are some word which can occur multiple times within different pages let's say parallel processing processing computing speed ram access memory different topics so just for giving some sort of like uh, uh, like uh, what do you say like uh, k um, like easier for the readers that you want to uh, like highlight all all the uh, different topics or important topics inside your one page and the page number will be written let's say you are talking about uh, like processing thousand times inside a uh, inside a pdf file and the pdf uh, file is having 5000 pages and different pages are uh, having this word uh, computing or processing so index means you will highlight uh, a different uh, you will add an one extra page or more than uh, one page and there you will define that processing word will be available in page 1 page 5 page 6 page 10 page 19 page 100 etc etc so that is called index so it will be it will give the readers or the actual uh, owner of the uh, report or for your customer to extra like visibility that okay in this pages this topics will be found will be found or can be found okay so let's move on uh, so how to generate index for single word and next thing how to generate index for multiple word so let me just correct this thing and this thing okay so let me open my id so just start writing the code there is not much talking so report lab dot platypus import paragraph simple doc template mm, one what is missing is page break that's it and another thing from report lab dot leap dot styles import get samples sample style sheet and the most important thing for tutorial is that is going to be the new new newer newest like library or class sorry the class library is always report lab oh platypus dot platypus dot table of contents import simple index so we'll be going to use this thing for this tutorial okay so next thing we'll create the pdf file object so this is going to be a simple doc template and we'll give it like tutorial 35 dot pdf and next thing we'll define the flowable object so obg equals to blank let's define the style equals to sorry get sample style sheet okay so next thing we'll define the text objects this is going to be this this and we'll write something this is sample with out index okay and paragraph text is going to be i know i believe all of you are uh, like familiar with these things now because we are doing this sort of tutorial for probably last one month so now all of you are familiar with this thing okay so normal then probably uh, yeah so this turn so let's write this line now dot append and we'll write down this paragraph text object okay and we'll build the document so pdf dot build will be our flow object 
okay so what i'll do let me just uh, for i in range one to five so it will be add four times so flow dot obj dot going to be one page break okay so let's try to run this thing so there will be total 14 pages and uh, and every pages will having this line okay let's run this thing first to terminate it let's refresh so just check so there are simple simple like this every page is having this so there are total 14 pages like this so now what I'll do we'll use this index uh, this word for our index so now what I'll do I will just create one this thing index this is the index tag and for that we'll use the item attribute and this is going to be index and we'll close the tag this okay and for build you need to just give like canvas maker is the attribute name and there probably we we'll, can use something and for that what is required here um, index equals to simple this one simple index so like this and we'll append this thing at the last so what is going to happen now so flow underscore obj dot append is going to this index actually okay and we'll write index dot get canvas maker okay so this is how it is so this is index dot canvas maker I don't think so anything is required here we did this thing we did this thing canvas maker okay let's run this thing it's terminated so let's refresh so there will be there should be one additional page and each page will having uh, one page one page only because we have append this thing at the at the end so there the all the index will be defined so this is our tutorial 35 see so this is the page like i and the word is index and it is defined page one two three like this so what i'll do now so i will change some text and um, let's change something i'll make it something unique for this okay so what i'll do uh, four and then probably this and this is for single uh, okay so this is for single so no just just remove this thing this is for single what um, index so let me just copy paste this thing okay so i just forgot to do the copy paste how to generate index for single word so this is single word index so let me just change this thing a bit 14 and like this so next thing is for how to generate index for multiple words so for multiple words what i'll do i'll just create three different for loops
like this okay and I can create text 1 and text 3 so what I'll do text 1 p text 1 text 2 and p text 2 so text and is together Oof. Thing, yes so this is fine so this is text and p, p text 1 this is like this this is text 1 p text 2 this is thing text 2 and p text 2 this so okay so text p text text 1 p text 1 text 2 p text 2 so i'll just change this thing over here so i'll make it 1 and i'll make it 2 and i will change something over here so what i'll do this is simple uh, this is simple with with um, report lab index and here i will use report lab and this is this is sample um, flowable and i'll change the word to flow able so let's run this thing so there will be one additional page like this and there will be three index and each page pages will be uh, updated there so it's terminated let's open this thing so it will be as usual let's go here well what is happening i'm not sure one two it's only taking this thing mm, i'm just thinking why this is coming like this well okay uh, text one flow object to wrap in p text one this is here actually then page break flow object to wrap in dot page two it is there so why this is not coming so let me check this thing first okay this is sample without index this is actually in our case i'm just thinking it is here okay well actually the thing is that we forgot to append this thing here so that is why it is not coming text p text text to one should be text one and it should be p text two so i just wondering like why this is not coming so we just forget to change this variable name as well so now it should come so let's run this thing so see the last page for f flowable 789 i123 and our report lab is 456 so whatever we are trying to achieve like index index page for multiple words so it is here so f i r so everything is here so it's very nice and probably you can create multiple pages or index whatever is your requirement depending on the topic or the subject you choose for your report but if we, this is very much important that you should create one index page for all the topics it is also giving some sort of like idea or like brief description about the topics which you are developing for your report and for example it is also helping for someone else who is going to work on the report later stage it also it will be easier for the readers or the actual owner of the report to do some sort of modification adjustment and also it will uh, be easier to read or understand the context so report lab gives this sort of feature so i thought to create one tutorial for this and it is very important uh, to know i definitely recommend you guys to do some sort of practice with this uh, example and hopefully we'll uh, get some more 
id and details so that's all guys that's all for today i will definitely upload the course but before doing that let me just write the code immediately or else i'll forget but don't worry i will uh, upload the whole code uh, in github so so it is not coming so what i'll do i'll just close it to 12 i need to make it a bit more smaller let's 10 yeah 10 is also not fine so what i'll do i'll just okay i believe now this is okay and i just remove this yellow part so this is nice so this is now the code for the sample uh, like sample multiple word index and this is what the code for generating single word index so guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video but before ending the topic or the video guys please subscribe to our channel hit the like button so you should not miss any notification from the next time onward and those are watching our channel for the first time guys please watch out for our other tutorial as well go for the new for, new 4j course if you want you can just uh, start learning new 4j from the beginning as well and if you want to uh, learn something else you can do it feel free to ask me some question if you have doubts suggestion feedback complain whatever you can feel free you feel free to write me i will try to improve our quality and as well if you have any suggestion for the next topic or if you have any use case which you want me to cover in the report lab i will try to definitely include those things and for the udemy students thank you very much guys thanks for subscribing to my course or enrolling my course it is actually giving much more uh, encouragement and motivation to create uh, contents for you so 2020 will be much more exciting for me and just stay tuned with me i'll upload more videos in the future so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend